good morning students uh, today we are going to learn about one of the important numerical problem on aggregate planning so this is the given problem in this a leading spark plug manufacturer has the forecast for the next six periods there are 14 workers and each produce 20 units per period uh, there is a company that company is manufacturing spark plugs and for the sixth month they have made a forecast what will be the demand for the six months and there are 14 workers working in the company and each worker can produce 20 spark plugs per period or if you take it as a month then 20 spark plugs per month so here uh, the periods are given in the table and the forecasted values of the spark plugs also given in the table in the first month the forecasted spark plugs are 200 second month uh, 300 third month 300 fourth month 400 fifth month 500 and sixth month 200 so this is the forecasted uh, spark plug numbers similarly the overtime per period is given so now uh, we, we understand what is overtime generally we work in the regular time for 8 hours if you work beyond 8 hours that is called overtime so why we need to work overtime so whatever the spark plugs demand we have uh, for example 300 spark plugs if it is not possible to produce this 300 spark plugs in the regular time then we have to work extra time to produce the the required number of spark plugs so that is called the overtime and what is the cost of manufacturing the spark plugs that is also given here if you work in the regular time to manufacture one spark plug it is going to cost 200 rupees if you work in the overtime to manufacture one spark plug it is going to cost 300 rupees and after manufacturing the spark plugs if you store those spark plugs in a storeroom or inventory uh, there is a cost of rupees 100 per spark plug that is also given and back order cost that is 500 units so now we'll understand what is back order here back order is the uh, number of spark plugs which are not manufactured and supplied to the customers in a particular period for example if you take in the second period here uh, 300 for spark plugs are uh, uh, forecasted demand if this 300 spark plugs are unable to manufacture by the company then uh, it becomes a back order for example out of 300 we have manufactured 250 and we supply to the customers another 50 as a pending we have to manufacture and we have to supply to the customers that is we are going to call as a back order so this 50 spark plugs will be manufactured in the next month and they will be supplied to the customers so that is called the back order if you keep the back order the to manufacture one spark plug the cost is going to increase by 500 rupees so for this given data we have to prepare a aggregate plan so let us understand how to prepare the aggregate plan for this given problem so now i have prepared a table so in this table all the data and calculations done for the uh, aggregate plan in the first row i have written periods there are totally six periods period number one two three four five six in the second row so the forecasted spark plug uh, demand values are written uh, that is already given in the problem you can see in the table the period and the forecasted value of the spark plug numbers so that is written uh, in the table also that we can observe so for the first period 200 second period 200 again third period 300 so all these values are given in the problem and totally uh, we have 1800 spark plug forecasted demand in the next row uh, output regular 
so this is regarding the if you do the work in the regular time how many spark plugs we can manufacture in every month so that is written in the output regular so we'll go back to the problem and we'll see how we can manufacture the spark plugs if you work in the regular time so in the problem it is given there are 14 workers and each produce 20 units of spark plug per period or per month so here if you multiply 14 into 20 in every month these 14 workers if they work in the regular time they can produce 280 280 spark plugs so that is what i have written for every month there are 14 workers and each can produce 20 spark plugs if you multiply 14 into 20 every month in the regular time we can produce 280 spark plug so it is totally 1680 again in the third row i have written uh, here the in the overtime every month uh, what is the overtime uh, we have to work and what is the number of parks plugs produced in the problem it is given that over time per period is 40 units okay in every month if you work over time you can produce maximum 40 spark plugs that is the maximum and the minimum limit okay once you start working over time we have to produce 40 spark plugs okay we cannot produce less than this also more than this also if you start working once you uh, over time you have to produce 40 only so that is given so i told when we have to uh, do the overtime so that is very very important we can observe in the first month there is no need of overtime why because the forecasted demand is 200 and if you work in the regular time you can produce 280 so this is more than the forecasted demand so you need not to work in the overtime so that's why it is written as zero again in the second month or the second period also we can observe the overtime it is written as zero because the forecasted demand is 200 and the output that is if you work in the regular uh, time uh, you can produce 280 that is more than the forecasted demand so that's why once again the war time is zero but if you come to the third period or the third month we can observe the forecasted demand is 300 but if you work in the regular time you can produce only 280 so uh, there is another 20 spark plugs we need to produce that is that is the shortfall so that uh, we have to work in the overtime so once you work in the overtime we can produce 40 spark plugs that is written here so i think you understood why uh, we have to write overtime here again if you come to the fourth month again the forecasted demand is 400 but we can produce only 280 spark plugs if you work in the regular time so then uh, you can see okay there is a shortfall of again the number of spark plugs so again we have to work in the overtime so once you work in the overtime in that particular month we can produce 40 spark plugs again in the third period or the third month also the forecasted demand is 500 if you work in the regular time you can produce only 280 spark plugs again there is a shortfall of number of spark plugs that is forecasted demand is more and the output is less so again we have to do the overtime work and we can produce 40 spark plugs again in the third period uh, sixth period or the sixth month you can observe the forecasted uh, demand is 200 and the regular time if you work we can produce 280 that is more than the forecasted demand you need not to do the overtime again so so i think you understood when we have to do the overtime work when there is a shortfall in the spark plugs manufactured in the regular time compared to the forecasted demand then only we have to go for overtime so the total uh, spark plugs produced in the overtime is 120 again in this subcontract that is left blank because uh, we are not giving any subcontract to other uh, manufacturer so here output minus forecast we have to do output minus forecast and the difference value of spark plug we have to enter in this table for every month so output we can see the output and uh, the forecasted demand so we have the output here we can see the forecast rate is 200 in the first month or the first period and the regular output is 280 and overtime output is zero okay so that uh, the 
regular output is 280 280 minus 200 the difference is 80 again in the second period the output the regular output is 280 and the over time that is zero so here the output we have to consider both that is uh, output regular and the over time both we have to consider and we have to add these together and we have to subtract the forecasted demand so here the over time is zero and uh, output regular that is 280 and the forecasted demand is 200 280 minus 200 once again the difference will get 80 and in the third period the third month uh, output that is 280 plus 40 so output we have to take 280 plus 40 uh, that is 320 minus the forecasted demand is 300 so totally the uh, difference is 20 again in the fourth period 280 plus 40 320 minus 400 okay so we are going to get the negative value that is minus 80 okay it means there is a shortfall we can observe there is a shortfall of number of spark plugs to be manufactured and again in the fifth period 280 plus 40 so that is the output okay we have to consider both i told the regular output plus overtime time output of spark plugs manufactured so 320 minus 500 once again we are getting the negative value minus 180 again in the sixth period we can observe the output regular is 280 and over time output is zero so 280 minus 200 once again we are getting the difference that is 80 so this is uh, i think you understood how to calculate and next we have to calculate the inventory so there are two inventories you need to calculate one is the beginning inventory another one is ending inventory so beginning inventory in the first month is zero because there is no inventory because no spark plugs are manufactured in the beginning of the first month at the end of the first month we are going to manufacture 280 spark plugs by working in the regular time so now the beginning inventory becomes zero for the first month okay so at the end of the first month 280 spark plugs are manufactured and out of 280 200 spark plugs are supplied to the customers so though another 80 spark plugs will remain as a inventory that is written as a ending inventory you can observe for the first month or the first period the ending inventory becomes 80 because 280 spark plugs we are manufacturing out of 280 we are uh, supplying 200 spark plugs to the customers another 80 will remain as a ending inventory again in the second period in the second period the inventory beginning is 80 because in the previous month we have 80 uh, that is the inventory at the ending of the first period or the first month that will be carried to the second month as a beginning inventory so beginning inventory is 80 for the second month and we are manufacturing 280 spark plugs 280 plus 80 okay so 280 plus 80 360 spark plugs total okay so out of 280 spark plugs manufactured 200 we are supplying to the customers because 200 is the forecasted demand and the another 80 will remain so when we add this 80 plus 80 the previous month 80 and this month 80 the ending inventory becomes 160 again in the third period the beginning inventory becomes 160 so that is uh, whatever we have the ending inventory in the second month that will be carried to the third month as a beginning inventory that is 160 and we are manufacturing 280 spark plugs plus 40 spark plugs so totally uh, 320 spark plugs and the forecasted demand is 300 so if you supply 300 spark plugs to the customers another 20 will remain as a inventory so that will be added to 160 as a ending inventory so 160 plus 20 it becomes 180 at the end of the third month similarly for the fourth month again the beginning inventory becomes 180 uh, that is the third month or the third period inventory ending inventory that is 180 will be carried to the next fourth month as a beginning inventory that is 180 
so that is written as beginning inventory and we are manufacturing 320 spark plugs that is 280 plus 40 280 plus 40 so totally 320 spark plugs but the forecasted demand is 400 so 320 okay we are going to supply to the customers another 80 spark plugs are required to supply because the forecasted demand is 400 so what we are going to do is uh, out of the 180 spark plugs as an inventory we have in the previous uh, month that is in the third month so out of this 180 we are going to take 80 so it becomes 320 plus 80 going to become 400 so 400 spark plugs will be supplied to the customers out of 180 the 100 okay will remain as a inventory as a ending inventory in the fourth month similarly so the beginning inventory for the fifth month becomes 100 because in the previous month ending inventory we have 100 that will be carried to the fifth month okay so again if you see here the forecast demand is 500 and output that is 280 plus 40 so regular output and the overtime output so totally 320 so totally the forecast demand is 500 but we are manufacturing only 320 we need to supply 500 so here we have the inventory already the spark plugs are stored in the storeroom we have 100 as a inventory this 100 also will be taken so 320 plus 100 420 again uh, okay so 320 plus 100 so 420 so again we need another uh, 80 spark plugs okay uh, for to satisfy the forecasted demand of 500 uh, spark plugs but okay whenever we take 100 the ending inventory becomes zero okay 420 spark plugs are supplied here and another 80 we have to supply that 80 is written here as a backlog or the back order we can see because uh, we have to supply 500 but we supplied only 280 plus 40 and the 100 as an inventory that is also taken and totally 4 20 spark plugs are supplied and 80 will remain as a back order or the backlog so that is written here we can observe here okay that is written here as a back order so again for the sixth period there is no uh, inventory because uh, we can observe the 200 is the forecasted demand and 280 is the regular output we are getting so 200 spark plugs we are going to supply to the customers and 80 will remain that 80 here we kept as a backlog so that 80 is also supplied to the customers we can see in the fifth month we have a back order of 80 so that totally 280 spark plugs are manufactured and 200 is a forecast demand and 80 is the back order we kept that 80 is also supplied so the beginning inventory and ending inventory becomes zero so now we'll come to the average how we can calculate the average inventory so we have to take the ending inventory values so here the ending inventory is 80 if you take the average it becomes 40 80 by 2 40 again for the second period the average inventory we have to add 80 the previous month the ending inventory plus the second month ending ending inventory that is 80 plus 160 if you take the average it becomes 120 again for the third period the average inventory that is the 160 plus 180 the average is 170 again for the fourth month 180 plus 100 take the average it becomes 140 again for the fifth month 100 plus 0 take the average it becomes 50 again for the sixth period it is going to become 0 so this is how the average inventory is calculated so totally the we have average inventory of 520 and uh, I told about the back locks or the back orders in the fifth month we are going to have the back order so that is 80 spark plugs will remain as a back order so that is written in the fifth period again in the sixth period it becomes zero that there is no back orders in the first period second third and fourth there is no back orders only in the fifth period we are having a back order I told uh, here we have 280 spark plugs are manufactured in the regular time and 40 spark plugs are manufactured in the over time when you add these two 280 plus 40 it becomes 320 and we have the inventory also 100 so add 
100 to the 320 it becomes 420 so totally the forecasted is 500 but we are supplying only 420 spark plugs so that what happens another 80 will remain as a back order so that is written here in the backlog so this 80 spark plugs we should uh, supply to the customers in the sixth period so how it is supplied we can see the forecasted demand is 200 and output is 280 so okay so totally 200 this 80 is also supplied in the six months so the total back order is 80 so this is how we can solve this problem so this is the aggregate plan we have prepared for the six periods or the six months so now we'll go to uh, the calculation how we can calculate the total aggregate plan cost so here we can observe so this is the table we have to prepare so uh, for all these six months what will be the uh, total cost of uh, aggregate plan so we can observe the output regular is written here and the periods are written one two three four five six and the output regular overtime subcontract higher layoff inventory back orders and the total so this is what in the table written so how to calculate this okay just go back to the problem here the costs are given in the problem so for regular time to produce one spark plug we need to spend 200 rupees so first we'll do the regular time calculation okay here we can see the output regular 280 spark plugs manufactured every month we just we have to multiply this 280 in every month with the cost that is 200 rupees okay so when you multiply this we are going to get every month okay 280 spark plugs are manufactured and 200 is the cost to manufacture one spark plug so 280 into 200 you are going to get 56,000 every month it is going to total 3,36,000 in the same way we go to the regular uh, time is done for overtime so third month we worked overtime and produced 40 spark plugs fourth month also and fifth month also just multiply the overtime cost that is 300 with the 40 spark plugs manufactured in third month fourth month and the fifth month so we are going to get 12,000 12,000 12,000 total 36,000 in the same way uh, average inventory cost is also given in the problem you can see inventory cost that is rupees 100 per spark plug so just multiply the average inventory that is 40 into 100 120 into 100 170 into 100 140 into 100 and 50 into 100 so we'll get 4000 5000 17000 14000 and 5000 so totally 52000 that is the total cost of inventory again in the back orders we are getting here the backlog at the fifth month that is 80 spark plugs so the cost is also given that is 500 per spark plug for the back orders just multiply 500 into 80 and write it in the table that is 40000 so totally okay when you total all this 4,64,000 that is the total aggregate planning cost i think you understood how we can solve this problem and how we can finally calculate the aggregate planning cost thank you all of you all the best